All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory it goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakradash. Double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, brought a thumb to the whole full elect. Shalom, Shalom. Today's video is going to be entitled, You Gotta Protect Your Gut. You know, you gotta protect your gut. Uh, just a health lesson. You know, I haven't done one of these in a minute. You know, the apostles, they was they was deep on, you know, health lessons about six months ago. But now we got other things going on through the spirit. Obviously, we got uh old boy, you know, sword boy and them going off. And, uh, you know, a lot a lot of prophecy is going down as well. You know, but the spirit kind of directed me in another direction. Just, to, you know, remind brothers to really stay on top of your health, you know, and watch, watch, you know, watch what you put into your body. Especially, you know, in your digestive system, uh, because if you didn't know, you know, 98 percent of the serotonin, you know, serotonin is is a is a feel good chemical in your body. You know, I think it's like 90 percent of the uh, body serotonin uh, comes from your digestive system. So, you know, if if you wake up feeling crunky, I mean, obviously we <laughs> hey, man, we wake up moaning and groaning anyway, just because we in Babylon. But, you know, you shouldn't be waking up pissed off. You know, Jake, Jake should not be getting a full eight hours of sleep and still be waking up tired. You know, that's that's a key indicator. You got to You got to do some work, you know, with your gut. If you if you waking up and you still feel sluggish and you waking up and you still feel tired, you know, you should you should be waking up feeling refreshed and, 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 and having energy. But, you know, that's one thing that these Americans lack, you know, is is, is good. It's good balance when they come to their diet and knowledge on, on how to change certain things. That's why these motherfuckers be addicted to coffee in, in the morning and shit. Because they don't they don't they don't take care of their body. They wake up feeling sluggish. See what I'm saying? So I want to read this precept and then I'm going to get, uh you know, just just a couple of tips, you know, that I do for myself. You know, to really, you know, keep keep that gut in check, man. You know, but this is a uh, Sirach chapter 30. Verse 14, it said, better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. And that word constitution, uh, it goes into the strength and the and the vitality in your body, man. So it's better to be poor. You know, it's better to be working a fucking fifteen dollar an hour job, but still be in good shape, you know, still still, uh, you know, what I'm saying having a balanced diet. You know what I'm saying? Still, you know, getting all your vitamins in. Then to be, it say, better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Right. That's why when you see a lot of these rich motherfuckers in the world, they be having them beer bellies. They be having them guts. They look like complete shit. And trust me, we we see a lot of them motherfuckers out here in, uh, in KC, man. But these motherfuckers be worth like meals. They be worth millions, but they always going to the doctor. They always feeling sick. They got shitty ass diets. They eating pork, you know, drinking beer every night, getting them big ass guts, man. That's 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 that is not a healthy body. You see what I'm saying? And with and with with that condition in your body, like I say, your mood changes. You know what I'm saying? You never feel like you get enough sleep. And overall, it's, it's just it's just a shitty life, you know. But it say health and body, health and good estate of body are above all gold. And a strong body and a strong body above infinite wealth, man. And that you got to take that literal. You got to take that literal, man. So, you know, I know I know not every brother is in is in is into going into the gym, you know, like like other brothers are. But, hey, that 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 actually gives you, you know, a benefit not only in your body, but in your mind, because you feel more refreshed you, and you also build up that confidence. But, you know, if you if you're not into going into the gym, Obviously, you know, the first thing we should be doing to regulate our gut is fasting. You know, off the rip, you know, I know, uh, you know, a brother out here, he's been fasting for personal and spiritual reasons. I mean, per, uh, spiritual and, you know, like I say, personal reasons. I had it right, you know, in, in terms of losing weight. And that's, that's that's been working for that brother. But, you know, that that also has spiritual benefits because he, he he's gearing his mind to be able to not to you know basically to to basically to go without man you know what i'm saying so that's that's the first tip off the rip man if you if you haven't fasted all month 
you probably need to start now. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, brothers, at a certain point in time, you should be fasting at least two times a month. And that's and that's generous. And that's generous. You know, let me say, oh, I, I be working. I don't like fasting at the job. Trust me, I don't like fasting at the job. You know what I'm saying? But certain things you got to do. And once you go through it, you feel you feel better at the end. These people hate affliction. These people hate what it takes to get to get their body right and in order, man. But say a health and good estate of body are above our goal as strong and a strong body above infinite wealth. Right. You see, when you got a, when you got a strong and sound body, you know that first of all, that is, you know, what we doing called taking care of our temple, man. You know, because what, what they say in the world, you 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 only you only get you only get one body. You might as well take care of it while you can. Right. So, hey, you how about Shemel Shah? He 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 be he be he be actually hating niggas that got shitty ass diets, man. You know, niggas eating their fucking hot Cheetos, you know, fried chicken, grape soda. You fucking defiling your temple. You how about Shemel Shah go fucking destroy you, man. And, you know, brothers, we we always ain't got we always ain't got we always do not have. The best diets either. You know, brothers know me. You know? Between <laughs> between me and another brother, we fucking we we eat more we eat more pizza than 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 the than a fucking ninja turtle, man. You know? I'm always I'm always <laughs> brother, I stay with pizza boxes in my crib, right? But even in that, you know, I know when to balance it out and I know like okay, I can't be doing this shit every day. Fried chicken, brother, come on, man. Ask, 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 ask any brother who's been to Kansas City about Jay's, Jay's chicken, man. We love that shit, but we understand that certain things we can't be eating every day, man. Like, like, Jake, if you ain't grown up to, like, eating, eating at least a salad once a week, you got to do that, man. And when I came to the truth, I fucking hated salad. <laughs> but the Lord, but I was eating such, such of a shitty diet. The Lord kind of put the spirit on me to start eating salad. And, you know, that's, that's one thing I do throughout the week is at least... You know, for lunch, just have a, you know, decent salad, whole lot of greens, though, because those are essential for your body, man. I, I know I'm real. I'm kind of, you know, trying to mix the precepts with the advice, though. But this is Sirach chapter 30, verse uh, 16. It said, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. And that goes into your mind. And that's why I brought out earlier. When I said that ninety percent of your serotonin comes from your gut, but as it say, there is, there is no riches above the sound body. You see, so when your body is sound, your mind is gonna be sound. So you know, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of emotions of being frustrated and angry that we have. Obviously, yeah, it comes from being in Babylon, but you also gotta look at yourself and saying what, like, what, what, what am I doing to contribute to my mood? You see, because you know before. Before I grew up in the world and, you know, before, like I say, in the world started, before I started smoking and drinking, you know, my mom introduced me to the to the idea of comfort food. Like when you when you going through a bad time or you are you feeling are you feeling low? She introduced me to the idea of, you know, eating, eating some comfort food. Right. Which is which is some greasy, greasy shit to make you feel good. And, and it, it works to a certain extent. You know, your, 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 uh, your pleasure centers in your mind go off when you, when you eat a good meal. Once that shit get digested in here, you feel like shit, man. That's why, you know, you know, the, uh, boondocks episode when, when niggas, when niggas had the fucking itis and shit, that shit is real. Cause after you eat it, you start falling asleep. You start feeling like shit. That's like, but once again, that, that be fucking with your mind. That's why the fucking black woman she be having a fucking attitude half the time because her gut is fucked up, man. Eating all kind of abominations and shit. <laughs> but it say there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness, man. So once again, you know, just just highlighted the importance of, you know, of, of taking care of yourself, man. Like if you if you not. I mean, because obviously <clears throat> every brother ain't got uh, they not in a position where they could be, you know, buying buying things to get smoothies every week. Because I know that's expensive between the frozen berries, the yogurt, the orange juice and the bananas. You know, when I was doing it, that was at least like twenty five dollars a week on top of my regular groceries. So, you know, if you can't really afford 
you know, to like make your own smoothies. Find you find you a couple smoothie spots around your city. Try to at least get one or two of those a week in. Cause that's 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 good for your health. But don't don't be getting no like girly shit. You want to get like some berries, some shit that got antioxidants in it. So, you know, so sometimes throughout the week, instead of like going out, going out to eat actual food for lunch, I'll go out and get a smoothie. You know what I'm saying? To kind of regulate that. And, you know, that gives you more energy throughout the day. But another tip is you got to utilize, uh, utilize the spices, you know, utilize the bitters. Like me personally, I use red pepper and cayenne pepper. So, you know, if I get a smoothie, I may get, you know, a little, cause I, I keep, I keep a little spice of red pepper in, in, in my, in my office. So yeah, if I get a smoothie, I get some red pepper, throw that red pepper in there, bam, mix it up. Boy, that shit gonna go through you, right? It's gonna it's gonna go through you, but you gonna feel good in the end. Like I say, even if you're not in a position of really buy smoothies like that, because I know brothers' pockets ain't always like that. Still, get that red pepper, get that cayenne pepper, pour it on a whole, pour a whole bunch on a cup of water, mix that shit up, and take it like a shot, man. That's gonna go through you. That's gonna clean your gut out. You see, those 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 things are good for your digestive system, man. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I mean, obviously, we're gonna get into some prophecy this week. But, uh, you know, this was just kind of on my spirit because I kind of caught myself, you know, lacking, lacking when it comes to uh, digestive health. I mean, I wouldn't say health in general because I go to the gym, but I wasn't taking care of my gut as good as good as I should. So just a reminder, brothers out there, you know, just just stay on point. Take care of your temples. And, and, and we say take care of your body. Your body going to take care of you, man. With that, a hey, Lord willing is edifying all praises, honor and glory. It goes Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honor city apostles, double honor city elders, a great millstone. Yahweh by Shemel Shah, Bracket Thumb, Total Full Act, Shalom, Shalom.